everyone. As you all are aware, this is the season for bank recruitments. However, as the number of vacancies have considerably come down this year, RBI inviting applications for the post of assistant is refreshingly welcoming. Now, the number of posts is 623, and the exam itself will be conducted in two phases. Phase 1, preliminary, phase 2, main exam, followed by a language proficiency test, which will be conducted in the local language of the state. Now, the tentative dates for the exam, preliminary exam is scheduled on November 27th and 28th, that's a Monday and a Tuesday. And for the main exam, uh, the tentative date falls on December 20th, that's a Wednesday. RBA, of course, reserves the right to change the date, and if it does, we will be notified accordingly. Now, the only mode in which you can complete your application process is via online. And that's why I'm here to take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to apply and help you with your online application process. But before we get started, though, a couple of more details. Now, who is eligible to apply for this exam? If you are in the age group between 20 and 28 years, that is not earlier than 2nd October 1989, and not later than 1st October 1997, you qualify. For relaxation of upper age limit, please refer to the notification. Now, when it comes to the educational qualification, a bachelor's degree in any discipline with a minimum of 50% marks is all it takes. Now, if you're planning to apply for the post uh, in any particular recruiting office, you should be able to read, write, speak, and understand the language of the state or the states falling under the recruiting office. Fees. 50 rupees for SC, ST, persons with disability and ex-servicemen and it's 450 rupees for OBC and general candidates. Of course, uh, staff candidates are exempted from examination fees and intimation charges. Now, there are certain things that you need to keep handy before you get started with your online application process. If this is your first time, then please listen carefully. You need to have a scanned copy of your photograph and signature. Now, specifications for your photograph, uh, you need a passport size color photograph, make sure it's on a white background, and the file size when you're uploading the photograph can be anywhere between 20 and 50 KB in size, not exceeding 50 KB. And for the signature, make sure you use a black ink pen on a white sheet of paper. And again, the file size for the signature can fall anywhere between 10 to 20 KB in size, not exceeding 20 KB. You also need to have a valid email ID and a phone number uh, right from the time you start your application, uh, before you start your application in fact, and uh, until the time you get your results. Now this will help you for receiving any sort of updates or correspondence from the bank. Apart from this, uh, it's also good to keep your mark sheet uh, with you for the date of passing and marks percentage details. So if you have all of this ready, then let's get started. So all you need to do is type www.rbi.org.in. It'll take you to this page. Scroll right down. And the last thing that you see, recruitment related announcements. Please click on that. OK, and the first thing that you see, uh, and then you have the second one, which says recruitment for the post of assistant. That's what we need, right? So click on that. And come right down. And it says here, candidates may click on the link below for filling in the online application form. So click on recruitment for the post of assistant. It will take you to this page, right? So basically, uh, on the left-hand side, it gives you dates of important events. That is when the registration uh, started, which was on 18th, and when's the last date for you to complete your application process, which will be 10th of November. And also for if you want to make any changes to your application details, that will be the last date again, 10th of November. And the last date for you to print your application falls on 25th of November 2017. Uh, for you to complete your fee payment along with your online application process, also the last date is 10th of November. On the right hand side, uh, you have login for already registered candidates, uh, which asks you to feed in your registration number and your password. This is something that will be generated during the application process. I will highlight that at that time. And of course, you have some reference documents here in terms of how to apply and frequently asked questions. I would advise you to go through the frequently asked questions. However, in terms of how to apply, I'm here to help you with that. So let's get started. 
go right on top, click on this orange space here, click here for new registration and then you have some important points to be noted. So you can quickly uh, go through this, right? Uh, basically it takes you through what are the modes of payment, um, other details pertaining to downloading call letter for online test information handouts, how even if you uh, make any preference uh, for a particular examination center, RBI does have the right to change that as well. Right? So once you've gone through this, you can quickly click on continue and you have five steps here. Step one, basic info. Step two, photo and signature. Step three, details. Step four, preview and step five, payment. So let's get started. So all the fields which has a red asterisk symbol here is mandatory. That is something that you are required to fill in without fail. So feed in your first name, confirm the same, middle name, confirm the same, last name, confirm the same. Enter your phone number, confirm the same and also provide an alternate phone number. Feed in your email ID. and confirm the same. You can also quickly go through the information that you fed in and then feed in the information that you see in the text box as in the image. And click on save and next. So it asks you, are you sure the data entered is in is correct as no change edit of application will be allowed after final submit. If yes, click OK. Otherwise, click cancel. You don't have to worry about that now. Just click OK, move on. So as soon as you go to the next page, you have this rectangular green box in which your registration number and password, your provisional registration number and your password uh, comes up. So you can make a note of that, right? The same information will also be sent to the email ID that you just fed in. So uh, let's quickly read this. Your registration will be valid only when application fee intimation charges are paid and your candidature will be considered for recruitment for the post of assistant in Reserve Bank of India. So go ahead, choose um, your photograph and your signature. We're going to upload that. So once you've done this, you can click on next. So there are some basic details uh, that is required for you to complete. So select your category. It says please indicate your category correctly in the online application form. No change in category will be permitted after submission. Candidates belonging to OBC category but coming under creamy layer are not entitled to OBC reservation. They should indicate the category as general in the online application form. And it also says no change in category will be permitted after final submission of your application. The next um, line is are you a person with disability? If you are, then click yes. If you are not, then click no. Move on. The next field that you'll have to highlight is, are you an ex-serviceman? Click yes or no accordingly. The next field that is mandatory for you to fill is, whether domiciled in state of Jammu and Kashmir between 1st January 1980 to 31st December 1989. Click that. And if you notice, some of the fields pertaining to ex-servicemen or disability are already grayed out, right? So if you've clicked no, you will not be able to select those fields. And it's not applicable anyways. 
So move on. Are you seeking relaxation under widows, divorced women and women judicially separated from their husbands and who are not remarried? Click accordingly. Yes or no. Are you a current staff of RBI? No. Are you an ex-employee of RBI? Yes or no accordingly. Please select your religion. And if you belong to a religious minority, click that. Your, your nationality will automatically come up. If you hold an Aadhaar card, please click yes. If not, click no. And if you do, please feed in your Aadhaar card number. And select the office that you are applying for. The state or union territory from which you intend to apply for your preliminary exam. And the state and the center. So it also asks you, are you proficient in the language that is no to read, write, speak and understand the language of any of the states falling under the recruiting office? This has to be a yes. And then the next uh, field is your personal details. So please select your feed in your date of birth. Your gender, or your marital status. and feed in your address. And click the box, same as address for correspondence, if that is applicable. So your permanent address also will get updated. And after you've done that, you can click on validate your details. The amount for the fees is already mentioned, 450 rupees, based on the uh, your category that you've chosen. right? So if there has been an, any error, it will show up. Maybe you've missed out on selecting any particular mandatory field, which is right here. Are you a dependent of servicemen killed in action? No. So you wouldn't have to worry that you're missing out on any particular uh, field. It will not allow you to go to the next stage. Verified successfully, click OK. Save and next. Now we will be filling in the qualification experience languages information. So feed in your graduation information and feed in your percentage marks. If um, you have post-graduation details, please fill in that or any professional qualification, please fill that. Do you have knowledge of word processing in PC? This should be a yes. So you can feed in the information pertaining to computer knowledge. Um, you know, do you have a basic, intermediate or advanced level, neither Microsoft Word is mandatory. Any other information or any other qualification that you have, you can feed that in, but it should not exceed 35 characters. If you have any work experience, please feed in that information. And also feed in the languages that you know. and validate your details. It says verified successfully, we move on. Click on save and next. So here, uh, this is, we are in the fourth 
step of the process of the application process where it's a preview. So you can go through all the information that you have uh, fed in. So you can check your name, the category that you've chosen, uh, just make sure all the fields have accurate information, um, especially your email ID, your date of birth, your address details, your phone number, the alternate phone number, all the information pertaining to your educational qualification and other details. So once you are absolutely sure that the information that you are fed in is accurate, then you can go ahead and click on I agree. Let's read the declaration. I hereby declare that all the statements made in this application are true, complete and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief. I understand that in the event of any information being found untrue or incorrect at any stage, or I am not satisfying any of the eligibility criteria stipulated, and also in case of creating influence, undue pressure regarding recruitment, shall tantamount to cancellation of my candidature. Click on I agree and click on final submit. Don't be in a hurry to do this uh, until and unless you are absolutely sure that the information that you have fed in is accurate and you don't have to make any changes. However, letting you know that you do have an option to save this and always get back and uh, log in again with your provisional uh, registration number and password and go through the details again if you want to double check. So once you've done with that process and if you are 100% sure, then please go ahead and click on final submit. So it asks you, are you sure as no change edit of application will be allowed after submit? Click on OK. And then is the last stage where you go ahead and make your payment, stage 5. So enter the word in the text box as you see in the image. and click on submit. Do you want to submit? OK. So it will redirect you to the payment page. So you have options. You can pay by credit card, debit card, debit card plus ATM fin, pin, internet banking or wallet or cash cards. Choose your mode of payment and complete the application and complete your feed in your details and you can make the payment. So let's say in case uh, by mistake you've gone ahead and submitted your application uh, process you've kicked you've clicked the final submit button but then you realize that you know there's some information that was incorrectly fed or it was not accurate don't worry uh, you do have an option to apply multiple times uh, however RBI will take the last application that you finally submitted right so let's say you've uh, gone through the application process twice or thrice so and your last attempt was your third attempt so the application that will be considered will be your last attempt, which was your third attempt. So for some reason, after you've completed the payment process, if the e-receipt does not get generated, that means your payment has not gone through. So what you need to do is uh, log in back with your provisional number and your password, log in again and complete, go through the payment process again, right? That will uh, ensure successful completion of your online payment right and then of course you can take a printout of the e-receipt and your online application form containing the fee details so that brings us to the end of this application process so hopefully uh, you will not wait till the end moment and uh, start your online application process now itself and complete that so you can focus your time on preparation. So all the very best uh, from Talent Sprint to all who are out there who are applying for this exam. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay focused and complete your online application process right away. Take care and bye-bye.